If you're into the law, you know her. <laughs> into the law. If you're into nice people, Aww, you would know her. Her name very is Laura kind. Jarrett. Laura is new to NBC. Uh, Jenna's under the weather. She's not feeling great today, but I'm so happy. They let me out of my Saturday cage. Are here. <laughs> so first of all, I just want to say something. I knew you before I knew you because I'm an early riser. I get up, crack of dawn. And there was this show on CNN called early something start. early. Was that it? <laughs> Nobody knew. But anyway, I would turn it on. And I didn't know you, but I was like, I don't know how I like her. There's something Aww. about her vibe. So I just want to say when you came into NBC and you walked into the makeup room, I remember looking over there and thinking, this is like, you know, you, know, know you, have, you, and you also yeah. have nice person energy. So Aww. first of all, hi. How I just Thank want, you. I just want you to know we're lucky that Laura's here. So um, I just want to know a little bit about you. Maybe things I don't even know. I was going to say, you know quite a bit about me because you spend some time with me well, regularly in the hair and makeup chair. Yeah. When you see me, like, frazzled yes. mom look. I do. By the way, it's a very vulnerable time, I should say, at that hour. And that's why everyone gets really close because you sort of blurt your secrets out at that hour. It's the you best can't time. help it. It's the best time. You're vulnerable. They see You're yourself. Unvarnished. Yeah. Okay, so you were raised by a single mom, right? Was. You had a lot of, like, strong woman energy in your life. A hundred percent. Mom, yeah. grandmom, family was everything to us, right? Yeah. So my mom, single mom, my dad yeah. passed away when I was little. Mm. My mom raised me, uh, her obviously, her entire life. Yeah. Um, my grandparents lived five minutes away. My yeah. grandfather took me to school every day of my life. Wait, wait, wait. So you think about how close your mom is with your girls? That's going to stick with them. Wait, your grandfather walked you to school? He drove me he drove to you school. to school every yes. day? Yes, even after I could drive, even after I got my license, so what was and your... I probably could have been driving him, I, he drove me to school every day of What did life. you all talk about? What were those little convos about? So we had the best deal where mm -hmm. every day one of us would choose the radio station. So okay. I would choose, like, the hip-hop. <laughs> yeah, cool. And he got to know, like, 90s hip-hop. <laughs> so, like, mystical. <laughs> like, your, like, <laughs> your grandfather knew mystical? He was, he was yes, very cool. Yes, And, and then he would, like, make me listen to NPR on his uh -huh. days and classical music. And so that was, like, our little thing. And we would talk about our days. We would talk about, you know, frustrations at school. So you really you really connected. It oh, wasn't yeah. just, uh, you know, a lot of relationships with grandparents and grandkids. That was our special time together. Wow. Yeah. What did you learn? Because I do think there's something cool about being raised by a single mom. You yeah. must, your mom, your mom had to work, your mom had to do all the things. It yeah. wasn't, so how did, how did that feel? Like, what did you learn from being raised by a single mom? It's funny because now I think about it obviously like a mom. And so mm -hmm. all of the guilt I have about missing bedtime yeah. or missing, you know, the soccer yeah. practice or yeah. things like that, I never picked up on that. Even if, you know, she was rushing around to make things, I didn't know it. She didn't, wasn't she, she wasn't, wasn't showing that. Ah. And so sometimes I think back on like how much hard that must have been for her, like trying to keep that stiff upper lip, right? And trying to make sure that she was everywhere in a thousand places <laughs> at once. But she never kind of made cuz I found that moms then and my mom was a working mom too. They didn't make excuses like mommy has to go to work. They're like, "Oh no." Mommy's going to work, and, and that was it. And part of it is that she thought it was important for me to see what she did, mm -hmm. right? To sort of demystify it. So, like, on the weekends, she would, like, take me down to City Hall, and mm. I would play, you know, like, Chamber of Commerce, well, and I would sit yeah. at the desk. Yeah. And we would hang out, essentially. I didn't know, like, she was actually having to do work, but yeah. I was, like, having fun playing office. Sure. But she wanted to demystify it. She wanted me to see all those sides of her. Yeah. But when we were together, she was 100% all in, mm -hmm. all present. My dad passed when I was, I was in college. I wasn't mm -hmm. young like you, so I'd known him for many, many years. But there is kind of this father-sized hole that just lives in girls, yeah. women like yeah. us. There's something about having that gap yeah. and how do you fill it and where do you find that kind of fatherly um, energy or love? How did you... See, did you seek that out? Or well, that's why I, was, I think I was so lucky because yeah. I had my grandfather yeah. there yeah. from the very beginning. Yeah. So I didn't even know any different. That was I how called you... him Papa. I referred oh, to him like that. Yeah. You know, it wasn't it wasn't a thing for me because mm -hmm. that was all. He was I, he was he there was for you. A hundred percent, and that was all I knew. 
Um, you have the cutest kids. I'm sorry. <laughs> I get a chance in the mornings. And it's not like you're one of those people who's like, look at my kids. But I ask you politely <laughs> and sometimes you allow it. But your family There's is so much fun. awesome. So you have this cute husband, by the way. How did you meet him? I didn't even know he was that cute he, until I just leaned he in. He is very He's cute. He's very handsome. He yes. Is. I met in law school. We oh. met our second year of law school. Okay. Um, we didn't know each other before then. We met mm -hmm. in a class. Okay. And so wait, how was the flirt? Was there a flirt? Who was flirting so, first? So for a long time, I didn't even know he liked me. He'll yeah. love that I'm telling the story yeah. from TV. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't even know any. You know, like he didn't sort of like have a lot of game. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't really know <laughs> how to go about he's not that. Watching. Yeah. Well, it was like a serious law school class, yeah, yeah, and yeah. so he says one night, like just sort of to everybody and nobody at the same time, yeah. like we should have drinks tonight. And I'm like, is he saying that to me? Is or he saying to the who group? is he talking? Who is he talking right? to? Right. But we ended up having drinks. Just the Closed down the place. Yes. And I knew from that. Wait, wait, wait. So he said, shouldn't we have drinks and you're the <laughs> and one I, who And I up? was like the sad girl who was like, I'll go. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, wait, the conversation just didn't stop? You had that We shut that place down. And we What's had so your, much fun. So you talked about everything. Everything. And then finally on the third date, we were going back and forth about, like, how many boyfriends and girlfriends yeah, we had had. Yeah, and yeah, he yeah. said something like, well, how can I be your fifth? And I was like, well, okay. <laughs> You said he didn't have game. He has game. Anyone who comes up with that line, how can I be your fifth? Wow. Yes. Well, y'all have a beautiful family. I'm so happy that you are here today oh, with thank us. Thank you. Well, let's get to a couple of topics. You want yes, to? Yes, let's All right. do it. Let's here we go. In. All right, Bradley Cooper and Gigi Hadid, they're spending some time together. So they attended a private dinner. That was cool at the Golden Globes. And also, Bradley's mom mm -hmm. was part of that situation. So Bradley essentially introduced Gigi to his mother. It was a big deal. That's a big deal. Yeah. That means that maybe there's something real there. So let me just ask about your, I just think about your cute boyfriend at the time. <laughs> at what point, because you have strong women in your life, yes. were you like, how am I going to introduce this guy and, into our tribe? And they are women who do not hold back oh, on geez. opinions. Oh, gosh. They expressed a lot of thoughts on prior oh, no. boyfriends. Oh. I'll, just, I'll just say they don't hold back. And so my mom came up to visit me for my oh birthday gosh. in law school. And Tony is in the class. How long have you known Tony at this point? A couple months? Maybe not even. Oh, that is really like a month. But we were like talking. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and so your mom I had comes told in. her there's this guy. I'm not Thank even you. sure if he likes me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but so she got to meet him in that class. And he jokes now because he had rolled. Like, this is law school, people. Yeah. He rolled into that class in like some old, like Michael Jordan t shirt. Yeah, he yeah, was yeah. not in his yeah. Sunday no, best to meet yeah. mom, okay? Yeah. Like, he wasn't dressed up. Okay. Um, but I felt like it, I was like happy she got to meet him because this is somebody I felt like a connection with. And that I didn't know we were going to get married then, but I knew it was someone I wanted her to meet. So you thought, so it didn't matter that you didn't know him for a long time or you didn't think it was a thing? No, because you're in law school. You're in your you 20s. Know. You don't know you any don't better. Know. Now, yeah. if I was so, meeting someone, I would have a very high bar. So what was your mom's initial opinion of him when she first met him? Like, he seems nice. Yeah. But she was... Reserved. She, she, you know yeah. what? She, she, I think, felt for me, like, she wanted me to have some time single and by yeah, myself. Right. And I was one of these sort of like habitual people who had been in relationship after relationship. Oh, after relationship. so when you broke up, there was another one. Ex I was like that. I always well, had so, someone on I'm that shocked. back burner. I'm, I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked. I feel like you're this wildly... We're doing a deep dive. No, right but I, I just imagined you as being like, I am woman, hear me roar, boys on the side. But you had the boyfriend. I had the boyfriend. Had Since the I boyfriend. was like 13, I have been in a relationship. And so, like, I'm like blowing her mind right now. Yes, you are. Okay. And so my she mom was like, can you, you just a have a beat take by a yourself? Yeah, yeah, can you yeah. just like take a minute? And you couldn't. And you I was just like, but I really like you. Like <laughs> you love love. You love love. How, by the way, how did he propose to you? Oh, he took me to my favorite restaurant mm. in Chicago because I grew up in Chicago. He mm -hmm. took um, you know RL, our favorite restaurant. Mm. It was a total surprise. We were not like ones where like we had talked about rings or anything like that. It was a total surprise, which is awesome. That's the cutest thing. I'm so into you. <laughs> I loved you before, but I loved you more. Okay, let's talk about another topic. Dua Lipa and Seth Meyers. So, they're pals. Um, they were. She was on his show. But they ta they've taken their friendship to a new level. So he does that thing where he day drinks, he does shots. Mm -hmm. And he they did, some, did some shots. And they agreed, I guess, to get matching tattoos. So Dua Lipa has several. Seth has zero. You don't have any tattoos. I don't have any tattoos. I don't either. But I think that's because we're rule followers. 
We do follow rules. <laughs> We're like, we can't. I can't believe Seth did. Oh, what? That looks like a freckle. Oh, jeez. You know what? That is not a tattoo. Oh, when that's, you said a tattoo, no, I thought a real no, tattoo. No, that's like a speck of that dust. That looks like a pimple. You know how many people are going to go, you got something on your arm. Like, so, that's not that. When you get your tattoo with Jenna, yeah. it's got if you do it, if it's got to be bigger than that. Yes. If no, you do we're, it. we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. It's gonna be bigger than <laughs> Okay, that's, now that you've said it. No, we're doing it. We're doing it. All right.